So welcome everyone to the second session of this uh, PLM webinar series. In today's session, we will see the Siemens PLM solution and capabilities to address some of the document management challenges product development organization like yours might be facing on a regular basis. I am Pradeep Peter. I work as a solution architect with Tata Technologies Business Development Group. If you attended the last session regarding multi-cat data management, one of the important things we discussed was the benefits of storing and managing multiple types of CAD data in a central repository or a single source with a consistent revision control, access control, and process control established for all types of data. Another key aspect of the discussion was the importance of storing and managing all the related information along with the CAD with the right kind of information, uh, I mean, with the right kind of relation established between different kinds of data entities so that we can easily assess some change and make sure that all the impacted information is updated as part of a change, right? Now, one of the most important related information is documents, right? Documents also comes in multiple formats and flavors. At the start of a project, we have requirements document, then we have design documents, material specs, uh, FMEA charts, test cases, use cases. Uh, then we are, when we are re ready for production, we have, we have work instructions. Then we have product manuals that needs to be shipped with the, the product. So there, are, there is a wide variety of documents that needs to be managed as part of the product development. So let's see a quick overview of the challenges and uh, leading practice in managing this wide variety of documents. So gone are the days when paper documents used to run businesses, right? Now everything is digital, but very often these digital documents are created and managed in systems which are kind of siloed from the product development process. Even though these documents are related to the product and product development, they kind of becomes islands of information disconnected from where the product uh, information resides, right? So anytime we come across islands of information, there are two major issues that comes along with it. The number one issue is the data integrity or information trustworthiness. A lot of time is spent to to search and find the latest and greatest information. Even with all the time spent, we sometimes end up using the outdated information, which can lead into product, production delays, warranty issues, and the worst case scenario, product recalls, right? Another issue with islands of information is lack of collaboration, right? That again prolongs the pro overall product development life cycle and drives the overall cost out. Another challenge with respect to document management is the inability to track, assess, and easily incorporate product changes to the documents. As document authors, many a time we end up recreating or re-entering product information into our documents, right? And we expect that someone will notify us when there is a change to the product that might affect the content of the document being created. We all know how that can go, and many a time we find that the documents are disconnected from the latest product changes or the documents kind of become outdated. Another challenge is the high cost and time to order and manage and even publish complex product documents like uh, work instructions or product manuals, which may have regulatory or regional requirements, especially when the product is going global, okay? 
Now let's see what is the leading practice in the industry to address these document management challenges. The number one leading practice is to manage all product documentation in a single revision control workflow enabled location along with the product data. Now that's kind of saying use a PLM system like Team Center for document management, right? Now when we start using a PLM system like Team Center for document management, one thing we don't want to do is to introduce a steep learning curve or a training requirement for the users. The users needs to continue to edit the documents in the familiar desktop tools in which they are already proficient and that's where they are more productive, right? Another leading practice is to reuse the company templates and engineering data. That again drives uh, standards across uh, uh, the organization. Again, uh, standards and consistency always drives productivity. And by uh, reusing the engineering data, we are not really reinventing the wheel, right? That's again uh, uh, driving productivity. Another one is full text search from anywhere uh, so that the information can be easily found and can be reused. Another leading practice is to have the PLM functionalities embedded inside the, the document authoring tools itself so that the users don't have to go to a separate uh, PLM applications to do the PLM functionalities like review or approve, right? Or even initiating a workflow uh, on a document, okay?